right so raise your hand if you have a scar as a result of any teacher an emotional scar as a result of any teacher in your school years during your school years i'll go first my grade one teacher scarred me for life she was really harsh very scary you couldn't do much we couldn't we were her little prisoners and it was insane so i'm going to acknowledge that yes teachers work under pressure and i'm going to acknowledge that it's not the the salary doesn't match the work i acknowledge all that but there's also something that i've seen over the years both as a student myself and also now as a teacher that teachers do they're taking out the frustrations that we have in our personal lives on students needs to stop it's point blank period i know i understand that sometimes students are they want to fight you and whatnot okay cool that's a different case but some teachers take advantage of very small kids and they take their frustrations out on very very small kids who cannot defend themselves who are making mistakes as kids and then we taking out our frustrations on these little mini people who are doe eyed and they're just looking up to us to protect them yet we are scarring them emotionally it needs to stop if a kid is annoying you if a kid is frustrating you for whatever reason you need to regulate your emotions you need to be the bigger person because they literally are a small person teachers will beef with a kid a small little kid like it's a normal thing to do like teachers will go to the classroom and pick up on one kid and think that's okay because the kid is really really horrible no you are the weird one because you are the bigger person in the picture i myself have buried the bigger person i decided a long time ago that i don't want to be a bigger person in any situation but when it comes to kids we protect kids we make sure they're okay we are their parents during the day when their parents are not where we are when the parents are awake when the parents are busy we get paid to protect them to teach them to love on them to be nice to them to be kind to them not to yell at the kids like there's no tomorrow like something is wrong something is wrong with some people and y'all need to stop y'all you, you guys need to stop i see things and i hear people yelling at kids and saying things like you are dumb you are stupid those terms using those terms on a kid and you're an adult are you guys okay it needs to stop regulate your feelings the emotions see a therapist this help if you feel overwhelmed take leave just don't take things out on kids defenseless kids and this is sometimes it just tends to feel like you are a bully to a young person who cannot defend themselves and also it goes to for some people they feel they only feel important when they are or they feel worthy or yeah important i guess when they have this imbalance of power when they feel powerful when you are in front of kids and you feel powerful and suddenly you are performing because that's the only time you get to feel important that's the, that's the only time you get to exude some sort of power otherwise you are nobody to other people that are your age to your group mates to your age mates you are nobody and then when you're with the kids and then you're overcompensating for that because you never really feel good about yourself so now these kids have to pay for you being a bum and never feeling good about yourself because your friends and your mates don't really rate you you don't rate yourself but you want these kids to respect you you command respect the kids are disrespectful you are you, you want to be respected on what grounds when you don't even respect kids kids are they just little humans they human 
they're human beings. They have opinions. They have their own way of doing things. Their voices. Let them speak for themselves as well. And there's this stuff like the shutting down of kids, the overpowering of 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 kids that I see adults doing, the dismissing kids that I see adults doing. It is insane. And I want to say that I'm not a perfect teacher myself. I make mistakes. I do not agree. However, I do not agree with just being really, really mean and demeaning to kids and thinking that it's okay because it's not okay. Those are human beings that are going to need therapy because of you at some point. That's if they do get to the point where they get that therapy because some cultures don't even do therapy. So we are scarring people that we should be protecting for what? To feel good about ourselves? It needs to stop. Okay, bye.